Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today we are going over a sixth grade concept, least common multiple and greatest common factor. So first things first, least common multiple, we are actually going to be multiplying the numbers we are given, basically skip counting until we find the smallest number because it's least. So the smallest number that those two have in common. And then there's greatest common factor. So factor means divide. So we're going to be given two numbers and we're going to break each of those numbers down by dividing. We're going to divide that number by two, divide it by three, divide it by four, and so on until we find the greatest number that each of those have in common. Let's go ahead and I'll show you if you're on the board. So first I'm doing least common multiple. I have the numbers 9, 12, and 18. So first I'm going to actually multiply, skip count these numbers. So I'm going to be skip counting 9, 9, 18, 27. So 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2, 18, 9 times 3, 27, 9 times 4, 36. Let's go ahead, stop there. Next one, 12, I'm skip counting by 12, or 12 times one, 12, 12 times two, 24, 12 times three, 36. Ooh, those two match. So I'm gonna see if this one has the same multiple in common. So I have 18 and my very next number is 36. So the first number that all three of those have in common is 36. So the least common multiple is 36. Let's do another one. Next one, I have five, 10, and 15. So I'm going to skip count by five. Five, 10, ooh, those two have in common. 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's go ahead and go to tens. 10, 20, 30. These two have 30. Let's see if 15 has 30. We have 15. And then 15 plus 15 is 30. So, so the least common multiple, the number that these three have in common, but it's the smallest, is 30. So the least common multiple is 30. Okay, and there is another way that we can do least common multiple, and it's gonna require us breaking down these numbers into its most basic form. So I'm gonna break down this nine. I break down the nine into a three times three. I can't break those down any smaller, so I'm gonna add that equation right here. I'm gonna break down 12. I break down 12 into four times three, and then I can break down that into two times two. I'm going to see what fits in the equation we already have. So I can see I have a three, good. But I don't have a two times two. So I'm going to add times two times two. Now, let's go ahead and break down this 18. I see that I have, I'm gonna do nine times two here. Well, I have a two, and I can break down this nine into a three times three, which I have right here, three times three. And then there's an extra two there, but that is totally fine. From here, I'm going to multiply this equation that I have. So I know three times three equals nine, and I know two times two equals four. Nine times four equals 36, so our least common multiple will be 36 for 9, 12, and 18. Make sure you break it down into the smallest form possible, otherwise this equation will not work. Now for that one, if that is not your style, that is okay. Stick with whichever method you feel the most confident in. However, there are some numbers, some bigger numbers, where that method of breaking it down is going to be a lot easier. Say we're messing with numbers where the greatest common multiple is 180. Being able to break those numbers down and multiply them is going to be your best bet. But remember, stick with the one you are the most confident in and you'll always have time to practice the new methods. All right. Okay, so now we are on greatest common factors. Now I have three digits, 30, 48, and 60. But factor means divide, so I'm actually breaking these numbers up. So I'm gonna start 30 divided by one. I have one, I have 30. 30 divided by two, I have two, I have 15. 30 divided by three, I have three, I have 10. Can I divide 30 by four? No. Can I divide it by five? Yeah. I could do five and six. 
Let's go ahead and stop there, move on to the next one to see if there's one in common. 48, so again, I'm breaking that down. So you're also finding either a multiplication, so I know eight times six is 48, so I can write that down. But if I get stuck, I can go through dividing from the top. So I can divide that by two, because I see that's an even number. So two and 24, can I divide that by three? No. Four, I can do four, and 12, I still see that I have a six there and I don't really see any other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to 60 and see if we have anything so far. So for 60, divide that by two. Yep, I can do two and 30. Can I divide that by fives? Yes, I can. Five and 12. And then I can also do six and 10 because six times 10 equals 60. From here, I'm going to look at the greatest number that all three have in common. So I see 60 has a six and 10. So I see a six, I see a six here, I see a six there. I don't see any bigger number that they have in common. So our greatest common factor is six. Alrighty, so that is it for least common multiple and greatest common factor. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more sixth grade content. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.